the next topic is uh, sampled value functions so we have covered yeah the first uh, sub topic in this uh, sequence operation what is that repetition in sequences go to repetition what are things we have seen go consecutive repetition go to rep uh, repetition and non consecutive repetition so next we have to see about um, sampled value functions okay system functions are available to access current sampled value access uh, access sampled value in the past Ac or detect changes in uh, sampled value of an expression so by using the system functions yeah here uh, we are having uh, some system functions okay in order to sam uh, get a sampled value okay uh, we know that uh, what is dollar rows what is dollar fill dollar stable past dollar past dollar sample right so yeah so, so these system functions are you uh, available to access current sampled value and access to past uh, access the uh, sampled value in the past or detect changes in the sampled value of an expression so uh, for example sa dollar sampled we mentioned our expression then we are giving clock event Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, look at here. Here we are having simulation clock ticks. Okay. Now uh, clock ticks are like this: one, two, three. That numbers are indicating clock ticks. Now uh, request signal is asserted in the before the third clock tick. Okay. And uh, active uh, acknowledgement is signal is uh, coming down before the sixth clock tick. Okay, now dollar rows request we have used uh, like this kind of uh, system function. So whenever the request signal is uh, goes from uh, low to high, then it should give I right. That is what we have assigned to E one right. At last uh, look at here E one E two two things are there. For E one we assigned dollar rows request. So whenever the request signal is going from low to high, it will give the uh, one uh, pulse. So dollar signal, you look at here, here request signal, it is going from high to low. In this clock tick, the zero only, but the next clock tick zero to one. That's why we are getting that uh, pulse here. Similarly, we have used dollar fill, right? Dollar fill acknowledgement. So whenever, yeah. Whenever it for goes from uh, high to low, it will give the pulse. This is an example for that one. Okay, so these are all uh, those system fun uh, functions. So function dollar sampled returns the sampled value of the expression with respect to the last occurrence of the clock event. When dollar sampled is invoked prior to the occurrence of the first clocking event the value of x is returned i getting here uh, this dollar sampled okay now uh, we are mentioning one clock event for example passage of clock okay so whenever uh, you are invoking this uh, system function what it will give the value of this expression at the at the particular event clock event at passage of clock event what is the value that is what here explained it returns a sampled value of the expression with respect to the last occurrence of the okay and one more thing suppose if you are uh, calling this dollar function dollar sample function before the occurrence of the first event of the clock first clocking event so it will show x okay then second one unknown value no, how do you avoid setting no yaar uh, we are using passage of clock okay our clock is coming like this our uh, clock is our clock is coming like this okay so dollar sampled value is what it will return look at here 
the if you uh, read this definition uh, it will be more clear okay sampled returns the sampled value of the expression with respect to the last occurrence of the clocking, clocking event. event okay so suppose we are using clock like this pa okay our passage of clock where uh, if here we are doing some expression so it will check that expression during that uh, last occurrence of the clocking event what is the value of that expression it will show you that one okay suppose i am starting like this at zero to simulation time i am starting at uh, fifth time unit it is going from low to high mm. and again at the tenth time unit it's, uh, it is coming from high to low mm. okay this is one complete clock cycle of uh, clock is having the period width of 10 right 5 per uh, low period and 5 per high high logic okay so now uh, here we want to at uh, time t is equal to 1 you are invoking this sample dollar sample right but uh, at dollar at uh, t is equal to 5 only the passage will occur right so in the meantime if you are calling means it will show x that is what and dollar past dollar past returns the sampled value of the expression that was present number of ticks at least one prior to the time of the evolution of the past look at here 